Good evening everyone. Let's look at today's headlines. A 21-year-old woman was reportedly raped by a biker near Boman Nahali on Sunday while she was on her way home. In a swift response, authorities arrested the suspect within 10 hours of the incident. This crime in Bangalore comes as the nation grapples with the shock and anger over the recent rape and murder of a 31-year-old medical student from RG Carr Medical College and Hospital in Kolkata. The Karnataka High Court posed the hearing to August 29th on the plea of Chief Minister Siddharamaya challenging the prosecution orders in the alleged Muda scam and asks the concerned lower court to defer the proceedings. Seven cases of Zika virus including Five at Jigani in Bangalore were detected in Karnataka from 4th to 15th August. Health and Family Welfare Department has issued an advisory labeling Jigani as a containment zone and asked the pregnant woman to take extra caution. Symptoms of Zika virus usually appear 3 to 14 days after the infection and last for 2 to 7 days. Most people infected with Zika do not develop symptoms or only have mild symptoms of headache, red eyes, fever, blisters and rashes. Diagnosis of Zika viral infection is confirmed through blood and urine tests. Till now, there is no specific treatment or vaccine for Zika virus. The treatment focuses on leave relieving symptoms including rest and staying hydrated. The Supreme Court has taken Suomoto cognizance of the alleged rape and murder of a postgraduate trainee doctor at the RG Carr Medical College and Hospital in Kolkata and will hear the case on 20th August. According to the cause list of 20th August uploaded on the Apex Court website, a bench comprising Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur and Justices J.B. Pardiwala and Manoj Mishra is scheduled to hear it on Tuesday. The All India Muslim Personal Law Board has stated that a uniform or secular civil code is not acceptable to Muslims as they will never compromise with the Sharia law, Muslim personal laws. In a press release, the All India Muslim Personal Law Board said the All India Muslim Personal Law Board considers the Prime Minister's call on the occasion of Independence Day for a secular civil code and terming religious personal laws as communal ones is highly objectionable. Movers and Packers company Halef International Private Limited has been accused of stealing items valued at more than Rs 10 lakh during a house shifting in the state on 14th August. The incident came to light when Bangalore resident Ankit Mayank shared about the incident on X. Mayank said a bag valued of Rs 8 lakh, Rs 2 lakh in cash, a pair of gold earrings, two gold bangles and other valuable items were missing apart from damage of the assets. Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Sunday launched development projects costing 1,003 crores in Gujarat's Ahmedabad city and appealed to the people to join the nationwide tree plantation campaign to protect the environment. Highlighting the importance of trees to protect the environment and the ozone layer, Shah said the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation has taken the pledge to plant 30 lakh trees in 100 days. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken is set to meet with Israel's Prime Minister today as the mediators say they are closing in on a deal to halt the war in Gaza and free hostages captured by Hamas iPhone contract manufacturer Foxconn's business in India has grown to over $10 billion by 2024. According to the company, Foxconn has invested $1.4 billion in India till date. Taiwanese electronics manufacturing giant Foxconn is also working on plans to set up a battery energy storage system in India. With an eye on the electric vehicle segment, Foxconn has been expanding its battery manufacturing business with the first plan already set up in Taiwan. Defending Champions India will open their campaign against the West Indies in the second edition of the ICC Under-19 Women's T20 World Cup to be played in Malaysia from 18 January to February 2 next year. India has been clubbed alongside hosts Malaysia, West Indies and Sri Lanka in Group A. 
That's all for today. For more such news and updates, subscribe to Daily Salar Digital.